Well, it's like this. If any more power stations come in here and they're any bigger than this one, I think they need to start putting wheels on them. My God, <laughs> let's get into it. Well, if you're uh, serious about emergency power, I think this is getting pretty close to having everything you need. 2,400 watts. Because of that rating, the surge on this thing is actually 4,800 watts and pure sine wave, of course. VDL, let's, let's power it up. That's the first thing I like about this unit. It does have a power button so you can turn it on. You know, some of them actually uh, don't have that feature. They just sort of kick themselves on when you, you know, decide you want power. Oops, met 99%. I did have 100 the other day, but uh, we've been running, charging, discharging, just running some basic testing on it. But here's a nice display right here. And I like the output because it shows you how many watts is going out. It also shows you the input if there's something coming in from like solar or something like that. Also the percentage of charge that's in the system. And the other thing that it's not shown here, but it will show up when you're doing it, is there'll be a time situation which will show you how long it'll take before this thing is fully discharged and just calculates it based on, you know, how much power is being drawn. And that is cool. Plus you have all, you have a, all these nice little rubber plugs. So it's kind of weather, I guess we'll say weather resistant. I guess that's a good word as any. There's the USBs. And of course we got uh, the USB, uh, USB-C, excuse me. I always have trouble with that one. And uh, let's see, more USB. So you've got quite a bit there. You've got uh, that's actually more USB C types than I've seen on other units. We have, of course, the emergency uh, light, which will do uh, lighting on off. It'll also do, you know, your strobe and all the other, all the other gobbledygook. On the DC powers, you have, of course, your cigarette lighter plug, which you can now plug something in that requires a cigarette lighter plug. And you also have uh, this one here is an XT. This is the XT60. This is going to get confusing because. Uh, the XT90, which is a bigger plug than this, is for bringing solar into this unit, which is also on this unit. But there's the output on a DC voltage, which um, offers you some interesting uh, possibilities there. Also, of course, the usual little DC output modules here with the little round plugs that you can uh, jack into for whatever. I'm going to turn the pl I'm going to... You know, I'll turn that. Now, look at the output on this thing. This is a bit insane, but there it is, six, you know. Now, this is where things are going to get a little weird, but okay, for emergency uh, lighting or applications, lights, of course, uh, charging your tablet, your drone, your laptop, your mobile phone, your camera, you run your TV or a mini fridge. For some reason, they said mini fridge. I could run this thing on my full-size refrigerator. I would not get very far down the road, but... I have seen 100 amp hour uh, systems that have been able to maintain a refrigerator, say like overnight before going back on the solar panels or something like that. So I'm surprised they uh, put the mini fridge because you could do more than that. Air conditioning, which of course I have in my garage here. So this is something nice that can run the AC and I've been testing it. It runs for about three hours uh, on a charge. And that's, that's plenty for the garage just for if I'm gonna be in here for a few hours. Uh, hot blanket, not sure why they mentioned that, but yeah. Now, here's the shocker, okay? This one's kind of weird, electric vehicle. Looking at some of the main features right here, the pure sine wave AC output, of course, dual cooling fan, multiple safety features that are include the battery management system or BMS, supercharged by the inverter. So at home, if you do plug it into the house, it can charge itself back up to about full in about two hours, which is, that's pretty awesome. The digital screen is very large, 4.9 inch. Low battery reminder tells you, lets you know that the battery is, and of course the battery management system over here, as they mentioned it, and the huge capacity, which is a total of 2,048 watt hours of standby power. That is, that is amazing. On the side of the box here, you'll notice too, uh, it really goes towards the idea of charging from solar panels and, or you do have a house plug here where you can, you know, plug it in to charge at home. Before I can continue, I have got to thank VDL Power for sending this big bad boy over here. It is really, it right at least right now, it is the most awesome power station that's come in here. And it, like I said, it seems to have what I want, you know. And when you think about a power station, if you have even a few solar panels, uh, portable or up on a garage roof or a carport like I do, 
Uh, you can charge this thing, but you can also be running this thing and supplying power to something. And supplementing the solar power is kind of important. Uh, and at the same time, this one here is the best one that's come in because it will handle up to 500 watts of solar power, which means I've got just that much more power I can have on standby coming in while I say, take power off of this. Okay, so for charging this up, obviously they have the 110 plug for the home, which uh, I would do it if I wanted standby power, emergency power, and I just wanted this unit to be sitting in a corner somewhere ready to go in case we had a power blackout, which is you know, pretty common these days, huh? Yeah. And, uh, or storm, you know, could do it, something like that. The other system is this one here, which comes with uh, a cigarette lighter plug. Not real fussy on this part, but it, because this is going to get hot because you're drawing quite a bit of power. So you want to really keep an eye on this. If you're using a, if you're using it in a car, truck, RV, uh, boat, whatever, uh, you want to check this with your hands and just make sure this isn't getting too hot. If it's getting really hot, I might, you know, pull it off, let it cool down, plug it back in, take it back out or something because this, they do have a tendency to get hot. So I'm really not overly fussy with this idea. And then what I did, I have solar panels, but when I brought the lines down, I also put in a heavy duty sort of industrial, you know, uh, cigarette lighter outlet that I can plug this into so that I can, you know, jack this in. And in this case, this is an XT90. It's a bigger connector than the one you saw on the front here. This one here plugs in the side here in order to power, uh, charge it up from the solar. It also allows me to run this while I'm charging from solar and run off the battery. So uh, the maximum they're saying to tie into is 500 watts worth, worth of power off a of solar, but 11.5 uh, volt up to 50. Yeah, not 60, 50 volt. So if you have a 12, 24, 36, or 48 volt uh, system on your, you know, using solar panels off the roof, whatever, uh, this would be just absolutely awesome. All you'd need to do is make sure you had something here. Because a lot of times what I like to do with a power station is have it charging off the solar and at the same time using power off the other end to run something. And I just think it's absolutely awesome because a power station, unlike anything else, the solar power stations are awesome. They have, they're, they're sort of like built-in controller. You have your built-in inver inverter. You have your built-in battery storage. Everything is contained. So really all you need besides this is either portable or permanent, you know, solar panels. And you can have quite a bit of power available for the house for emergencies. Okay, it looks like a slight correction here. Besides the cigarette lighter plug, I found this one, which somebody had removed and set aside. So uh, this is the XT90 plug as well, but it comes with the nice solar uh, connectors here for the solar panels which is good because this is really the one you now well, the one that I would want to use mostly anyways. Uh, I, like I said, I did get away with this to tie into my solar instead of using the, uh, the plugs, but my solar power panels are, well, I have portables, I also have ones up on the roof. And the ones up on the roof, it's just easy to use the cigarette lighter plug and go to town. But also if you have portable panels and you know, these people, they sell portable panels. You can tie them in with this and lay, say, you know, 400, 500 watts worth of panels up on the ground. You'd have camping power, RV, whatever, remote. You'd have all kinds of power. Let's go fire up the, AC, the air conditioner in here with this. It's 110 in here right now, so that, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, so we're plugged in. AC unit ready to go. Uh, we'll turn the power unit on, of course. Okay, there we go. We're fired up and where are we yeah now there is a switch back here to turn the ac on and off so i'm going to turn the ac on and off which also of course turns on the inverter so we're now ready to supply power over here to the uh air conditioner oh yeah this is going to feel good oh yeah go baby go go Whew, we're back. Ah, uh, we've come down about four or five degrees since I started. It's been running almost an hour. I don't know if you can read this at all. I've got two hours left right now. We're at uh, 85%, but it really shouldn't even be able to carry this at three hours at this point because the, right now the AC is just running steady. Uh, I've got the isolation sound down a little bit on the AC so you don't hear it too much. You can probably hear it running. Uh, I've got that cut back so you can hear my voice. Anyway, let's go back over to the bench and we'll talk about this is new yeah 
This is okay, I grabbed this and ran it over to the bench right away because I wanted you to hear it. Uh, the fans are running, and they're, I'm going to... I'm not going to say they're whisper quiet, but they are very quiet. They're not noisy fans. This is a, as I said, this is a brand new unit. Uh, VDL just came out with this, and they have a sale price on it too. So it's a very, very uh, powerful power station. So, yeah. And it has the features of things that, uh, you know, someone like me, this is what I want. You know, this is the sort of thing off of solar run my AC or power tools. I can run all kinds of, I can run insanity. I, I can run the welder off this thing. <laughs> yeah. The MIG welder, you know, choo crazy. All right, so VDL uh, has solar power packages. They didn't send anything over to us and that's, that's kind of okay. Uh, what I experimented with was I have a pair of uh, 200 watt panels and I set them out in the sun and of course we, uh, wired into the system to charge this. We had this down at approximately 15%, so she was, you know, low. And it took two days to fully charge this back up from 200 watts. Now that's cloud cover and, you know, through the day the sun goes across the sky. You can't really measure it. A lot of times you'll notice they'll say between four and 12 hours of recharge time on solar because solar varies so much throughout the entire day. You also have cloudy days, rain days, and whatever. So there's a lot of, just way too many variables to know for sure. Technically, I can put this on the hard panels that I have on the roof, and I should be able to have this, well, I know I will, I'll have this charged back up in probably about four hours or so. It'll just, it'll, it'll bring it right on up. But that's almost 500 watts of solar power coming into the uh, charge system on this bad boy here. So that's really good. So I just wanted to sort of clarify that because there's two hours on the house, we know that, but the household current hopefully doesn't go up and down. <laughs> you know, not like solar, you know. but uh, it's, there's so many variables to solar that you, you really can't say, well, you know, for sure this is gonna take, you know. So the 200 pa uh, watt panels for two days was not very impressive, but at the same time, look how much power you, you, you have when you're all done. It's like, I've got a lot of power in this box, you know. <laughs> So uh, VDL uh, did ask for some responding ideas or things about the unit too when they sent it over. They said, you know, let us know, uh, you know, what do you think about some of these things? And my first number one, I wouldn't even say it's a complaint necessarily, but I think they should have made these things uh, not only stackable, but interlinkable so that you could expand your power range so that not just have the 2400 watts or the 2048 watt, uh, watt hours, but so you could stack these up and, and double that and triple that, you know, and have a cord or cable that, you know, daisy chain them up so you could link these together and have just an incredible wall of uh, power with these things if, if that was, you know, something you wanted to do. And then when you're going out on remote jobs of something and you think you need power with you or RV, camping, anything like that, you know, you grab one of these and go. Uh, also, uh, I really think heavily for some reason on people with uh, condos or apartment dwellers a lot of times. It's really nice when you're in something situation like that where the, all the power, the whole building, you know, goes off or something. If you have this, you've got an incredible amount of power on standby that you can use. And I think that is a really, that's a cool item to have. And in fact, if you have a balcony on that apartment, you can throw those power, you know, throw the solar panels out there and, you know, more power. <laughs> yeah, you know. But uh, there's just so many different applications. My own application, obviously, is to run this out of the shop and have it on the solar. And I actually tried this and it does work. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little flunky, but uh, I can run this out on my solar panels in my barn, run an extension cord back here, plug that crazy little air conditioner in and run it and have the solar panels running with this to extend that time so that I can leave the AC running for hours, you know, on end, which is through the day through the daytime. Now, obviously at night, this is not gonna get you very far. A couple hours, you know, and then you're out of juice. <laughs> yeah. But what a great design. I love it. They've got the two heavy, you know, grab handles right up here. Uh, when you're carrying something like this too, I've noticed with these units, and this unit's really excellent for it, is when you pick it up like this and you rest it against your body, this backside, there's no buttons, there's nothing back here. There is a unit whose name I will not mention, but they've got switches and garbage on the backside, and when you're carrying this thing, all of a sudden, all this other junk goes off on you because your your tummy has sort of, you know, turned off switches on for you, you got flashlights and whatever else happening. 
I like this kind of arrangement where the you know the, the incoming power from the solar comes in on one side, the AC comes out on the other side. I like that design. Uh, the let's see what else. I think the USB thing uh, C's are a little over the top, but at the same time, uh, there is people out there that could use that. So I really can't criticize that. Uh, I have in the past said something about these USB, uh, USB, DC outputs, these little round jacks. I'm not sure where we're coming from on that. I guess there's a, there's a lot of accessories out there that will have that type of little DC little round jack that you can, you know, put in there. Again, not fussy on that, so I don't necessarily think that should have, you know, if you wanted to cut costs or something in production, I would probably, you know, that's what I would get rid of, you know, probably dump that, you know. Definitely leave the cigarette lighter plug on because there's a lot of people that use it. There's other one other thing on the box that I didn't see and I was kind of looking for. It. This thing will run my coffee machine. You know, hey, it'll make coffee. You know, ah, oh, a couple of other specifications we need to mention. This is lithium iron phosphate. So just so you know, because that, that's about the best battery you're going to get for storage with the technology presently today at a decent cost. Now. This is where things are going to get a little weird. Okay, it's 22 kilograms. 48 and a half pounds, so it's heavy. So you might want to get some wheels for this thing. I didn't check the website. They, they might have a cart or something, but I would just, I don't know, I would make my own cart, you know, for, with wheels on it if, if your back is a little soft, because I have to admit, I have to admit, mention, <laughs> I have to admit, uh, pulling this thing around at 50, if, Feels like 50 pounds because it is 50 pounds. <laughs> She's a heavy beast, but a lot of power. So again, you know, we'll have this uh, links in the description below for all this. But again, I keep telling you guys, uh, you might want to check back in a week or so and just see if we have an extra discount code or anything. Because sometimes companies such as BDL. Uh, they'll send over a discount code later on and say, oh, by the way, put this in there with your description below for where you have your show on this so that, you know, customers that are interested can grab an extra, you know, 10% off or something. So always good to check back in case, you know, if we don't have it on there. Uh, this is just, I think it's just, it's just the best power pack, it's, it's power station, excuse me, best power station that's come in that suits every need that at least that I have in my workshop and in, in my environment you know and it also can run the house and I'll just the whole thing in the house the one thing when you lose power besides the TV and the internet okay yeah the one thing that's important okay is that refrigerator is a refrigerator will stay cold inside with as long as the door stays closed for a very long time it will hold you know groceries and keep it pretty cold but sooner or later, it would be nice to have a power, something like this, behind that refrigerator. And I watched a fellow that used a 100 amp hour system, and he was able to keep the fridge uh, running throughout the night to stay, keep it chilled down, keep it cold, maintain temperature, what have you. Uh, by morning, he was, you know, you know, he was done. He was out of juice uh, from his uh, 100 amp hour battery. Uh, the refrigerator had cycled enough through the night that it had run it down, but he had solar. So he was able to switch to solar and pick the refrigerator back up kind of thing at that point. But that whole idea, you could do it even with a power station like this, you could carry the fridge through the night and in the morning tie this into solar and you might be a little rough, you know, life might be a little rough for a while, but you could do it, you know, you could get through. Uh, they said mini fridge and I'm thinking full size refrigerator only cycles in and out a little bit through the night. So I would be surprised uh, if if you couldn't make it through one whole night on just this on a refrigerator, I'd say the refrigerator needs to go back. You need to get a new one because <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty efficient these days. And they let's face it, they only cycle on for a few minutes, pull the temperature down, then they shut back off. The AC I've got in here today is when I turned it on, it was like it's 95, 96 degrees in here. It was like it's just going to run and run. <laughs> it's not going to be able to you know pull it down. Really need to get some insulation is what I need to do. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and we will be back to uh, other projects and tools coming up. I think we're done with power stations for a little while, but I'm not, I could be wrong, but this sure is, this is a nice one. Oh yeah, <laughs> over and out.